New details about the jury selected in the murder trial of accused Colorado shooter James Holmes. The group is made up of 12 jurors and 12 alternates, 19 women, 5 men. Holmes, as you probably know, is charged with murdering 12 people, wounding dozens more in the Aurora Movie Theater Massacre of July 2012. He faces the death penalty in Colorado if he's convicted. Wendy Patrick is a trial attorney and a veteran prosecutor. Brian Claypool is a criminal defense attorney. Before we get to these jurors, Brian, you say that the prosecution has a tough job ahead. Why? Oh, absolutely, John. Believe it or not, in four states don't even have insanity laws, and the insanity law in Colorado is very relaxed. It puts the burden of proof on the prosecutor, not on the defense, on the prosecution, to prove that Holmes was legally sane at the time of the shooting. Not only that, but there are two ways in which Holmes can be deemed insane. One is if his mind was so diseased and defective that he didn't know right from wrong, John. The other way Way, which I think the defense has a shot at here, is if, if Holmes' his mind, he had a mental illness, but he wasn't able to, to, to carry out or form the culpable intent. So he really wasn't able to, to, to carry out the intent of the shooting. And that, that's an easier burden for the defense to prove. So they do have a daunting task here. You have been involved, Wendy, in some, in some cases in which people pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. That is the Holmes plea here. Does he stand a chance? Uh, I think it's a great case for the prosecution. I mean, this is a guy who planned this over a series of months, ordered weapons, ordered ammunition, culminated a strategy to get into that movie theater to carry out this plan, and mental illness does not equal insanity. That is really the bottom line here, is they can find, the juror can find that he suffers from some kind of a mental illness, but did he know right from wrong at the time he committed this massacre? That's the question that makes him either sane or insane, and all of the evidence they're going to have shows that he knew what he was doing and he knew right from wrong. Fascinating jury pool. We don't know their names, obviously, Brian, but we know something about them. A woman who is in her 40s or 50s, she's a lawyer, actually left on this panel. Another middle-aged white female who has a drug-addicted son. A white female physicist with degrees in mathematics and psychology. This is kind of an astounding jury pool. Well, it is, John, and I, I would be I would be fearful of the lawyer on the panel uh, because the lawyer can take over in the in the jury deliberation room. Maybe but, not but against the woman that who has me, degrees but, in uh, mathematics and, and psychology. Well, yeah, she she might she might be nitpicking every piece of evidence in the case. That deliberation might take longer than the Aaron Hernandez deliberation with her on the panel. But I, I think overall, though, I, my concern with the jury selection, John, was that the prosecution was allegedly uh, dismissing or, or or using their preemptory. They're called Batson challenges uh, in Colorado to dismiss prospective Hispanic jurors. If I'm Holmes's lawyer, I wanted jurors. I'm happy though with the women. You want women? They're generally more compassionate. Passionate, sorry, John, than you and I would be. Mm. And, and I also <laughs> would have wanted minorities on the panel. And they didn't get a lot of minorities on the panel, though. So I think, I think all in all, it's a pretty fair mix for both sides. Uh, let's turn our attention to another uh, story that we've covered over the years. Testimony is continuing in the murder trial of an Oklahoma teenager. He's accused of shooting an Australian athlete in the back while he was out jogging. Chris Lane's family cried as they heard the 911 call describing the last moments of his life. Is he talking to you right now? No, he's just, oh, oh, that's all he's doing, making a noise. Is he breathing? Is he conscious? Is he talking to you? What's he uh, he's not conscious. Is he still breathing? Oh. Barely. So how do you handle this case? Chancey Luna is 17 years old, on trial. Uh, for murder. His defense team, Wendy, says, oh, he didn't really mean to kill the guy. He just was having some fun with a gun. Is that going to work? I don't think so. This sounds like a thrill kill, and the defense has made it not a who done it, but a <laughs> what is it. A gun is a lethal weapon, not a toy. So the fact that a gun was used and that his client, Luna, shot this guy really shows that that was his intent. Because remember, uh, intent can be formed in an instant. doesn't have to be pre-planned. That seems to be what the facts show here. One of his cohorts that night has already pleaded guilty 
to second degree murder, Brian, can, can that be used against uh, Chansey in his trial? No, it can't be used against him in the trial. But I, I think what you argue for the 17 year old here is his age. He is 17 years old. He's, he's still technically a juvenile under the law. And, and kids will be kids. He's engaging in horseplay. I'm not condoning the horseplay. But I think this is a tough one for the jury, John, because they've got a way. Do I put away a 17 year old kid for the rest of his life, not giving him a chance to rehabilitate he, himself he and live, 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 a, live a life? He pointed a gun at another human being and pulled the trigger for fun, Brian? Well, I, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's look, you got to come up with a defense. And I think the best defense you can make, John, is he's 17, he's not mentally mature. And I, quite frankly, I would have argued some kind of diminished capacity defense for this kid, that he has some kind of mental impairment so that you can dilute or defeat that intent and then enter into a plea bargain. So his, his lawyers might have fumbled the ball on this one. His, his lawyers are going to earn their money, that's for sure. Brian, Wendy, thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.